Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the Farm Vlog today. We've got to go around today and get some honeydews or stony dews done. We've got to get some things done here around the farm. I want to take you around and show you what's really going on. So we're down here at our pond and basically two or three times a year I go all the way around the pond with the weed whacker and weed whack because I can't get too close with the tractor for the risk of it tipping over in here. So we're going to go around our pond, dress it up a little bit, clean that up, and then we're going to take this guy right here around and we'll do some limb trimming. So come along today, we'll tell you about what's going on and we'll show you all the fun stuff we're doing. All right? One pull, still baby. Nice. All right guys, so let's give you a little bit of before and after. There's your before and there's after. Looks a lot better. Now you guys might be thinking, now Josh, why are you weed eating around your pond when you have all this equipment to mow? Well, when you get next to a pond with a tractor, it's dangerous territory. Many a tractor, many a zero turn, many a lawnmower has ended up in a pond because you get up close to the edge and it gives way and rolls over in the pond. So what we're doing is cutting this back for safety's sake, okay? So on the really steep spots like what we just did, I'll cut probably 15 feet off the pond. And in places like this, I'll probably cut about eight feet off the pond. And that way we don't run such a risk of rolling over in the pond with the tractor. Now, that's an expensive mistake and you don't want to make it. We'll go all the way around the entire pond here and we'll clip this grass and that way we don't have to worry about it growing up in briars and blackberries and wild trees and all sorts of stuff. We keep it nice and clean around our pond. Now we will leave some areas alone for cattails and stuff to grow so we can have some habitat for frogs and fish and stuff like that. But that's what's going on. And we've also discovered that we have another problem here in the pond. We've got a muskrat and it's digging. It's digging all around the edges of the pond and what a muskrat will do is dig into your dam and ruin your pond. So we've got to take care of that problem also. So we've got a little bit more trimming to do around the pond and then we'll take you up and show you the rest of the stuff that's going on. Guys behind me is a wild turkey in the woods. Man, that was cool. You guys got to see a little wild turkey action right there. So there's a wild turkey and two groundhogs back here. And the groundhogs and the wild turkey looked like they were playing with each other. So evidently there's a turkey nesting somewhere out here in this field. So we need to be real careful when it comes to springtime mowing. And that's what today really is all about is springtime mowing preparation. So the next thing that I'm doing, and you can see I've already started you can see all these limbs laying in the field. I'm cutting down limbs that are on the edge of the woods right here that are hanging down that hit the tractor or that hit you in the face. So pretty much once every couple of years, you need to go along the edges of your field and trim up. Man, there's all kinds of wildlife around here. Pretty cool. All right, so anyhow, I've just got to get in here and take out these limbs that are sticking out. They're really just like, this one's right above my head. So. If I can reach it, it's pretty much too daggone low for me to get under it with the tractor. So I just get in here and I trim up the limbs and that way I can get all the way to the edge of the field. If you don't do that, eventually all the trees will start rooting and working their way out and your field will shrink over a few years. Cool? So let's get busy with that. You might be wondering, what do we do with the limbs? So if the limbs are small enough to chop up with the bush hog, we'll just bush hog them. If we're gonna mow hay, we'll throw them over in the woods, okay? So we've gotta go around basically all the way around all this field, all the way around 
125 acres of field. It's a lot of work. So we've got some work to do. But I'll just show you a portion of it and then we'll get busy. So what we're using to cut these limbs is basically a steel pole saw. And basically the little pole saw here, it holds bar oil right there. And this end slips together. There are two arrows on here that we line up. Just line up an arrow on this and an arrow on that. Slide it in to place into position here, hopefully. There we go. And then we tighten this little knob. And this is an actual pole saw. This isn't some weed eater turned pole saw, whatever. This is a pole saw. I think it cuts 18 feet out or 16 feet out. And it is the model HT56C. Great little product. Perfect for the farm, for cleaning up around your fields and stuff like that. And again, I'm a believer in the steel product. So we'll get her started up here. Totally forgot I ran it out of gas last time. <laughs> It's real world, guys. Real world, stupid. Please, click that like button, okay? If you haven't clicked it yet, click it, okay? Here goes. Now, I bet you this thing starts right up with gas in it. <laughs> yep. All right, let's take you over here where we're cutting. So basically, we just go around the whole edge of the field and cut like that. I gotta put my hearing protection in and get busy. But I wanted to let you guys know what's going on on the farm today. Let's shut this machine off. Thanks a lot for coming and watching. And basically, we're just gonna go around the fields and trim up. This is about a six hour job. Lots of weed eating, lots of trimming, and lots of tree trimming going on right now on the farm. This isn't all that goes on on the farm, but this is just part of it. So I thought I'd take you along today and show you something cool. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell down there. It'll notify you when I post a new video. We're gonna get busy, have some fun. All right, woo! The basic thought process here is anything I can reach with the pole saw, I need to cut it. If it's on the edge of this field, anything I can reach, I need to cut it. We've got about hmm, four miles of field edge to do. Whew.